guys, we're here. We are here. This is the very first um, channel update video. Uh, so this is part of a brand new series on the channel where it allows me to be myself and just open up with no script or notes or anything like that and just open up to you lot because I love interacting with you lot. Now I said I was going to do this on the live stream. The live streams will be happening every week or every two weeks. They'll be deleted as soon as they finish, but I'll do a video on, on the things that I say in those live streams. Uh, one today, and one in a couple of days. And the one in a couple of days is about reality shows or you know TV shows that celebrities get invited on that I would want to do if I ever got to that stage. So I need to do more research on it because there's only two that I'm interested in at the minute, but uh, and one that I've ruled out completely for now. But I may look at some more and try and make a judgment on them. But if you've got any that you can find, comment them down below and I'll have a look at them. Uh, whether it's quiz shows or anything like that. But today, I felt like it was needy to talk about three things that I want to do for this channel. Uh, if it gets bigger. Now, I see the most positive comments on the live streams in the past. You know, 100k subscribers, get this guy a play button. Um, there's even a fan channel. There is a fan channel created for my channel called Coaster Chal is the best. There's another channel that commented on the live stream a few times as well called Coaster Chal is epic. Don't have some videos, but I've subscribed to him anyway because the name is brilliant. Um, but yeah, basically Coaster Chal is the best is a brand new fan channel that's been set up by someone. So whoever that is, thank you. Um, that means a lot that I've got my own fan channel now. Um, but there's three things I spoke about in, the, in one of the live, in a couple of live streams now that I want to do with this channel, and it's something that big YouTubers have, have done, and it's something that I want to do as well to to become one of those big YouTubers. Because um, theme park YouTube doesn't really get classed as a big YouTube genre; it's always like challenges, gaming, um, and things like that. So I've tried to twist up the content and bring in some more entertaining stuff with it as well. So the reaction videos. That's non-theme park that's always great to do with the PIF films and you know other stuff to react to which I cannot wait to react to by the way I really can't wait um, got some great stuff lined up for that um, the collaborations I want to try and collaborate with as many people as possible I did get a fan a new fan of the channel now you guys who don't watch who don't like football who don't watch AFTV might not know this guy but there's a guy that's subscribed to my channel now who I saw him. I, I, I saw one of his streams, uh, and that's when I first spoke to him. But I've seen him before. He was competing for AFTV FC in the Blood Brothers final against DTFC. It's a guy called Broads. Uh, I want to give a massive shout out to Broads because he's, he's, he's subscribed to the channels, both channels now, the second channel for the football and basketball as well. Um, and, you know, immediately when I, he saw my comment, my first comment on his stream, he was like, oh, your logo's interesting. Uh, please tell me what you do. So I talked to him, and then, you know, he follows me on Instagram now, and I follow him, and we chat to each other, and he's such a nice guy. So I want to say a massive thank you to Broads for supporting the channel, uh, and to other people as well for supporting the channel. Um, the most subscribed person subbed to the channel is Airtime Thrills, by the way, who's got, like, nearly 40k, which is mad. Um, but, yeah... Basically, this channel will be getting bigger and bigger, and, you know, with fans like Broads that get loads of attention from, you know, people that are fans of AFTV and, you know, fans of the football fan world and things like that, and other people, and collaborations, like I speak about earlier, collaborations are a big part of this channel, and, you know, if Broads is up for a collaboration, I'm fine with that. If anyone else is up for a collaboration, I'm fine with that. Uh, we did the interviews. Uh, we did the interviews with House of Swag Kids from Britain's Got Talent this year. Good luck to them if you make it to the semi-finals. I can't wait to see you perform uh, and do well for Ireland. Um, but, you know, it's great to, to, to be involved with these people. And it's great to do these non-theme park stuff as well. But the theme park content always is considered to be not as popular as other genres of YouTube. And that's would be one of my main aims to promote my passion and to share my passion and to tell the world that you know theme park factual entertainment is something to be taken seriously and um big youtubers that do other genres you mean you look at the sidemen who are amazing at what they do joe sorg he's brilliant at what he does absolute role model at the sidemen are of mine jack septikai is an absolute boss you know he does it right like a boss uh, PewDiePie, brilliant. 
Um, just, just all these people are brilliant at what they do. But these people have done massive things as their channel has grown bigger and bigger and bigger. And there's three particular things that YouTubers have done that I want to do myself as the channel gets bigger. So these plans aren't now. These are like a few years down the road. It's something I'm telling you guys now to get you guys excited. So uh, usually at this point, once I've introduced the video, I would tell you guys, here's how you can interact with the channel. I'm actually going to put that at the end of this video because I want to share the full 10 odd minutes with you guys just telling you guys what I want to do. So I've said this in streams, the live streams, like a couple of live streams personally. So if you've already, you, if, you know, if, if you've been on the live streams, then you'll know what I'm going to say, what three things I want to do. But if you haven't seen the live streams, then this is the first chance you're going to get to see of me talking about what I want to do. Um, the other YouTubers have done that I want to do if the channel, when the channel gets bigger because, you know, let's face it, the channel's going at a rate that I never expected. You know, we're nearly at 500,000 views across nearly 1,000 videos across the last two, nearly two years. That is remarkable, absolutely remarkable, and that's all down to you guys. So thank you for that. Um, and we just hit 1,700 subscribers, which is brilliant, you know. Um, I think it, I think Jacksepticeye reached, what, like 1,500 subs in two years? So the fact that we've reached 1,700 in a shorter time than the likes of Jacksepticeye uh, before he got the PewDiePie shout-out and his channel grew like it so deserves, it's mind-blowing. Absolutely mind-blowing. And it shows that I'm doing something right. So, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for that. But the three things that I've always wanted to do. So, the first thing I've always wanted to do is a book. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've not written, like, big things since school. <laughs> I've always typed. At college, uni, typed. Um, instead, you know, sometimes I might take notes from time to time at uni. But, for the rest of the while, it's either typed up or it's typed up when I've finished. So... You know, um, so in terms of styles of books, there's always been two I've been really interested in. One of them is like an entertainment book, I guess you could call it. You look at the the Sidemen book, and I see that as like a guideline or an inspiration for, for this route. Which is basically you pick out your funniest moments, so you pick out some really cool moments, and maybe some behind the scenes moments that people may not have seen on camera. Uh, that are hilarious, and you put them together in like a, a bit of a bit of a showcase in book form of your life, basically, and how like the side men, like how they how they met, and you know some stuff that they did, and how they got into YouTube and things like that. That's something I've always wanted to put together and release myself, um, and make it entertaining because this is factual entertainment, and um, you know I can tell you guys the inspiration behind the different characters that I introduced to the channel, so things like. Mr. Serious and Aussie Chow, which is the Australian, you know, coaster shell guy. Um, so that's always been a route to go down. The other route is what Joe Sugg went down with the username Evie series, and that is like a fan fiction type series or a book series with fictional characters that will affect someone in a positive way. Again, nothing specific with these ideas, nothing too specific because this is a few years from now, so. Um, I'm just thinking different routes at this point and just starting to plan out the outskirts of everything I want to do rather than go deep because it's going deep way too soon. So it's just getting the outskirts planned first, really. So um, I think the more detailed stuff will come in a couple of years, hopefully, uh, two, three years minimum. But again, we'll see. Uh, but that's really the two routes I want to go down. Uh, I may, in terms of, if you want a bonus third route, then I guess like a guide to theme parks, according to me. Um, I mean, that would be nice to write. But again, the two main routes, an entertainment book or a fan fiction series. Uh, something that's going to affect someone in a positive way. And all of them, I want to affect someone in a positive way and be a role model to people. So the second thing that I want to do is a tour. Now, obviously... Tours are very, very difficult to write and very difficult to prepare for. And again, like the book, like the other third thing that I'll talk about in a bit, it is very long term. It's like five, ten years from now. So, you know, nothing detailed at all. It's just telling you guys what I want to do. And a tour, like I said, it's very difficult to plan, very difficult to write, very difficult to piece together. 
Um, but my dreams for like the tour is to for it to be like kind of kind of similar to the third thing that I want to do, and but it's more instead of in a different room, it's in like the live arenas in front of thousands of people, um, and it's basically like telling them all how I got into parks, how I got into YouTube, you know, what what inspires me, who inspires me, why, uh, how do they inspire me. And then getting the audience involved, you know, maybe put on some of my alter ego characters, like the Aussie Chal and the Mr. Serious, and I might invent some new characters for the tour and things like that, and just broaden my acting abilities and, you know, do some audience interaction, because audience interaction has been a big part of the channel, so if it's a big part of the channel, along with the inf the factual stuff, the info stuff, then it should be a big part of the tour. Um, and obviously like an audience Q&A at the end as well. And, you know, I've got musical the theatre experience, I'm a bit of a singer, so I might write a comedy song. Like, theme it around theme parks, I might do a comedy song and test my vocal cords at the end of the show. But, there's a lot of stuff that I want to put into a tour. And, again, like I said, this is like 5-10 years from now, so it's going to take a lot of planning and a lot of thinking. But it's something I'd be prepared to do. Now, the third thing is meet and greet sessions. Now, the Sidemen did this with their book tour. The, um, Joe Sud did, did this with the book tour. He met loads and loads of people. They met loads and loads of people. And, you know, got, got them a signed copy and things like that. And I sort of, in more ways than one, I referenced the meet and greets with the books. Because, again, that's the same thing I want to do with the books. I want to do, like, a book signing tour, go to the different, different bookshops like Waterstones, WH Smiths, and, you know, different places like that, like Leeds, Bradford, people like that. And, you know, sign thousands of copies myself and do these photo points with fans one after another uh, with a dinner break in between. And just have people photograph with my book with me. That would be a dream come true. But... Um, the meet and greets, as well as linking to the books, the meet and greets would be a, a it'd be very much a fan session, pretty much. So, you you know what, you guys send me the questions in the comments down below, I read them out in the Q&A videos, that's how those work. Would it be great for the meet and greet sessions to be like an, a live audience Q&A, so you can come down to these places like Bradford, Leeds, Barnsley, Sheffield, Manchester, Donny, all these different places and ask me questions live um, and then obviously I can meet with people throughout the rest of the day and photograph with them and things like that so in the meet and greets are very much linking to the book with the book signing tours but and again that links to the tours but the meet and greets are very much a a way of interacting with you guys live in person not just behind a camera and obviously these live meet and greets and any behind the scenes stuff from the tours and the book signing tours and any updates with the books they will all be filmed for you guys to keep you guys updated but um you know and this is why it's great starting this series off with this video because it's three things that big youtubers have done when they've been growing and now those youtubers that have been growing and doing these things that i want to do are at a stage where you know they are the biggest in their game so these are three things I want to do in the next five, ten years. Um, obviously, it's a long time away, but it's stuff that I want to do. A tour, a book or two, and a meet and greet session. Or a bunch of meet and greet sessions and a bunch of places on the tour. So, you know, and I think one way you guys can make that happen is you. You know, share the channel around. You know, get people to subscribe to this. Tell them that... You know, this guy isn't just theme parks. You know, this guy can react to funny stuff, weird stuff, cringy stuff, scary stuff. Keeps the content family friendly, no swearing or anything like that. You know, he respects all his audiences. Um, any smaller YouTube channels, get in touch because I can help you out with any advice in any way I can. Because um, I know a lot of people, a lot of big YouTubers have helped other YouTubers and got them to where they are today and helped them out and helped out wherever they could uh, and I want to do the same for you guys and the fact that we've we've now got a fan channel and we've got other people that have created their content because they were inspired by my content it's like a domino effect with YouTube I was inspired by them and now they're inspired by me so it's like a domino effect and it's very great to be part of a domino effect now. Before I was just inspired by people. Now I get to inspire other people. And 
that's a great domino effect to be a part of because it makes you a role model and they've put your trust to inspire them in my hands and it's up to me to live up to that trust so it's very nice to be part of that and obviously doing these three things like the books the tours the meet and greets it's very nice to do all of that in the next five ten years you guys can help with that you guys can get people to subscribe to this channel you know remember the sub goals 5,000 subs by the end of the year and we get to launch the paid memberships on the channel 10,000 subs by the end of the year and we get to launch the merchandise websites and obviously with the paid merch uh, memberships as well um and again, if you guys have got any ideas for the books, the tours, the meet and greets, any cities you want me to visit, then comment them down below and I'll keep a note of them when I'm starting to plan the, the more deeper details of these things, these ideas. So, there we go. So, it's not, it was, actually to be fair, it was nice not doing the original intro for these videos. I think that's going to be the thing with this channel update series, like channel updates, um, or channel vlogs, should we say. It's very nice doing no intro for these series and just going straight into it because it means I could get all the information out in the allotted time I've got and it means that you guys can keep in the mix with everything I'm doing now I, like I said in a couple of days two three days time uh, I'll do some more research on shows like, Str like Strictly and I'm a Celebrity and do some more research on the shows come up with like a list of ten or a list of five that I'd want to do um, and if you guys have got any other suggestions, you can comment down below this video or that video when it comes out in a couple of days' time. Uh, but like I said on the live stream, Strictly and I'm Celebrity are the two main things I want to do in my life. And Dancing on Ice, if I could skate more, would be another one. But if you've got any more, comment them down below and I'll do some research as well. Uh, and I'll do a video looking at different shows that I would want to do if this channel got bigger and I got more recognition um, from the wider world. So, you know... It's one of those videos that I'm really excited to film, but in another way, it would be a bit of a nightmare because, you know, you sort of think, you sort of, when you think about these shows, you sort of think about, like, what impact they could have on you positive and negatively, you start to have doubts about whether you want to do it or not. So, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not straying away from anything. I'll be completely open and honest with you guys about everything. So, um... Yeah, that video will be an interesting one, so I'll probably record that tomorrow and upload that a couple of days afterwards. So probably that'll be up by the end of the week. Um, obviously, we've got more news updates to come. We've got a construction update from Welby, Belgium tomorrow. Uh, we've got some more updates, some more fact files. I know you guys love them. We've got a couple of closed but not forgotten videos that you guys want to see, so I'll record them as well. But for now, guys... Thank you very much for watching the first of these channel updates. Uh, obviously, throughout the next few years, I'll update you more on what's happening with these projects. Uh, but for now, guys, keep on the coast of life. My name is Coast Shell, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a lovely week.